Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an unboxing, kind of, it's, well, it's, it's sealed, it counts. And I'm going to listen to the album, let you know what I think. Um, yeah, but first, it's just, I went, so as you know, I've been talking about before that my diet's going really well, and I've lost a lot of weight. So I decided that to keep it going and improve on myself even more, I'd go to the gym and start the gym again. Now, because I'd been to the gym before and I knew all the machines, I just went in there yesterday and I aced it. I smashed it. You know, I did all the machines, all the exercises I used to do before COVID. Um, and I felt great afterwards. And then I woke up this morning and everywhere hurts. Um, I should have just eased into it, but I didn't. And now I'm feeling the effects of that. That is very painful. And I'm... Nah. But today we're going to talk about KSI, who I am a huge fan of his. Only recent, well, I say recently, I started watching KSI just after he'd beat, not Paul Weller, Joe Weller, and in the boxing match. Because previously, like before 2017, uh, KSI would make videos in public where he'd do really dumb and stupid things. And I just didn't like those kind of videos. I'd hate people who do that. It just really, it bothers me. Unless, you know, the people involved, because I know a lot of it's probably fake, especially channels like Ben Phillips, who is incredibly fake. But um, yeah, those videos just weren't for me. But he has come a long way, a long way. And, you know, I used to, I don't now, but I used to hate Logan Paul with passion. And that's why I started watching KSI, because he was going to beat up Logan Paul. And that was the coolest thing ever. And I, I'm so happy he won the fight against, well, he drew, they drew once and then they, he won the second time in LA. But I was so happy he won, you have no idea. Uh, Logan Paul, I don't hate him anymore. He's really matured and uh, I know he's squashed everything with KSI. It's still, it's Jake Paul I don't like at all. I, I can't stand him. Um, I can't stand him with a passion. Now, I started, I believe, when I first heard about KSI, he had gone to America to be with Rice Gum, which is another YouTuber I can't stand. I hate Rice Gum. But, and then there was sort of like diss tracks going back and forth. And the only ones I, I heard, Little Boy. Little Boy is a really good song. Or at least it's like a really good diss track. And then I know Harry had diss tracks aimed at KSI that were really good. Uh, that absolutely destroyed him. But you, you come from that and songs like Lamborghini to when he's making a, this album and he has a song. So it's not on this album, but he has a song of Little Wayne, which I've heard called Lose, which is really good. And uh, the song that's also not on this album is Holiday. I actually really like Holiday. That is a beautiful summer tune. You know, you can imagine sitting on the beach with the sunshine, listening to that. But I live in the UK, so hang on. This might be loud, but let me show you. You know, this this is the British summer. This is what it's been like all summer. Just just grey and bland. But you get used to it when you live here. So this is the HMV ex ugh, exclusive red vinyl, which I'm really excited So. I know I'm a month or two late on this. I think it came out last month, uh, and it's almost two months ago. But, you know, I'm, I'm old, I'm slow. You get used to it. I love this uh, album artwork as well, with him sat in front of his uh, PC. I'm assuming it's a gaming PC. Is that... I know that's Beerus, the Dragon Ball character. I've never seen Dragon... It's not Dragon Ball, is it? Yeah, Dragon Ball. Is it Dragon Ball or the other one, Naruto? Uh, no, it's, it's Dragon Ball. Ignore me. I'm terrible at anime. Um, and the, I believe the bear is called Beerus as well. I'm not sure. But he is smashing the YouTube game as well. And the Sidemen. I watch. I mentioned Harry, but I watch the Sidemen now too. Because their videos are hilarious. Oh, yeah. This is now my second red vinyl. The only other one I've got in red is the John Coltrane record. I don't want to touch it. Oh yeah, that's like a crimson red. That is beautiful. So I'm going to go and listen to this and I'll let you know what I think. So 
I meant to say that I'd listened to Dissimulation, his first album, which came out last year, which I thought was pretty good. And I'd listened to his album, is it called New Age with Randolph? That was pretty good as well. Um, but uh, this album, we're talking about this album today, and this was fantastic. I really enjoyed this. Now, I had heard the songs Patience with Youngblood and Polo G and Don't Play and Rarely Love, and only because he would play them at the end of his videos, his advertisement. But I'd really stop myself from listening to this until I found the time to go and pick it up so I could film this exact video. Um, just uh, So, anyway, huh, the album starts with The Moment, which has a really great beat to it. It's a great way to start the album. And the beats across the whole album are superb. He really shelled out for those, really, you know, I don't know where he made them himself or, no, well, he might have or paid someone for them, but those are fantastic. And then, so, also, if you follow this channel for a while, you know I don't know much about rap music. So if you're new to this video, please subscribe, stick around. I do tons of rap videos, I try to. Um, I don't know much about rap music at the moment. So I obviously I know who Future and Twenty One Savage are, but oh, I'm young. I know Young Blood is, and Anne Marie, but I don't know any of these other people. Uh, Craig David, um, I swear I know who that is. Does he do stuff with BBC Radio too? Is that a different Craig David? I don't know. Anyway, so the moment is great, and there's a great beat on number two, and I mean Future and Twenty One Savage killed it. Their verses are great. Uh, I need a little bit of patience. See, he should feature me. I'm obviously one of the best singers ever. Uh, patience is a great song. The song You, which is like a um, house club sort of song with his uh, auto-crooner auto vocals. So I think it's great. I think uh, KSI is a pretty good singer. He can hold his notes really well. Um, you have to remember that auto-tune only works when you can actually hold the note to begin with. If someone like me would still sound shit even with all the tune, but the song "You" is great, and I think, you know, it's a shame "Holiday" isn't on this album because I think that's fantastic. Uh, "Don't Play" is great, really catchy, and "Digital Animal Farms," which I don't know anything about them. I apologize, but I assume they did the beat and the production on this these songs. Uh, so they did uh, "Really Love" and "Don't Play," and those are just some great club. Uh, club house whatever you want to call it bangers and i can see people dancing in clubs to this and i assume they have this has been out a month or so um well those songs have been out ages and gang gang was a great song featuring j1 and dino uh madness i love the song madness the beat was great but the way he was singing about coming from lamborghini to this sing it way he was rapping about lamborghini to this is really poignant and it's true. I mean, Lamborghini's all right. It's not a bad song. It's not particularly good. And then through like the diss tracks and his EPs and his first album with Randolph and then his first solo album, and he has gotten so much better. And especially with songs like I'm on a horse and shit like that. You know, he did a really, he has a really good song called Adam's Apple. Um, I'm getting off topic a minute, but Adam's Apple was a song he, or a diss track he did at Net Nobody. And I know this is like three or four years old now, but <laughs> Net Nobody is also Sky Does Minecraft. And when I was little, I used to watch these Minecraft YouTubers. And I just think it's funny how KSI just absolutely obliterated this K uh, Minecraft YouTuber. Anyway, uh, Silly is a great song. Feet Bugsy Malone. Now, I swear I've heard Bugsy, Mal Love, Bugsy Malone before, but I might be, I don't know on that one. Uh, Rent Free is great. And Gracie had some great vocals on that. Flash It is great. Uh, no Time. No Time featuring Lil Dirk has to be the best song on the album. That, like, I loved his... Um, so the auto-tune on his vocals on the chorus goes really high. But it's really catchy. And the, the beat sort of works with the vocals. And I absolutely love the way it sounds. And I've never heard Lil Dirk before. Or Lil Dirk. It is Lil Dirk. Or Lil Dirk. And I don't know why that's so hard to say, but he sounds great too. Uh, Smoke is a great song, and the closing track, Sleeping With The Enemy, is fantastic. Now, this, I've genuinely really enjoyed this, and it makes me happy to see how far he's come, because if you don't count PewDiePie, 
because uh, PewDiePie's Swedish, uh, KSI's got to be the biggest British YouTuber, or at least in, in my mind, he's the best British YouTuber. Because a lot of the other British YouTubers I used to watch have sort of fallen off. But anyway, this is fantastic. And I imagine if you're watching this video, you've probably already heard it. But if you haven't, I would definitely recommend you go give it a listen. And you know, pick it up on vinyl or buy it as an MP3 or CD or whatever. Support KSI. But this is fantastic. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video because there's plenty more coming. And I'll see you again soon. Take care, everyone.